project life cycles as per pmi this is the definition of project life cycle a project is a temporary endeavor to create a unique product service or result there are many life cycles for a project as per pmi's agile practice guide or apg which is a reference for your pmi scp exam now a project will go through a set of stages to deliver a product or a service or a result as per pmi's apg this is the definition of a life cycle this is the process through which a product is imagined created and put into use there are four types of life cycles defined for a project predictive life cycle iterative life cycle incremental life cycle and adaptive or agile life cycle in addition we have another life cycle called hybrid life cycle which sits in between predictive and adaptive or agile life cycle so first the predictive life cycle this life cycle is also known as plan driven fully plan driven or in some industries such as software development as waterfall model here the scope is known early in the life cycle and you know exactly what the time needed and cost requirements to deliver the scope in summary this life cycle is used when the product to be delivered is well understood because you have clarity in scope and because you have clarity in scope you have or you know the time and cost needed to deliver this scope so it is fully predictive in many projects however requirements and hence scope are rarely known in detail before the project begins you would know not every time you will know all the requirements and hence scope is not fully known as detailed and final scope are not known in advance you can't have the time and cost known in detail either can you because you don't know the scope how can you fix the time or cost so this leads to another life cycle known as the iterative life cycle in iterative life cycle you deliver in iterations by progressively refining the product every step of the way so we saw the definition project to create a product so we have in iterative life cycle we are progressively refining the product because the requirement clarity is not there and as you pass through many iterations more and more clarity comes in and the pro product is progressively developed the concept of progressive elaboration fits in here progressive elaboration is basically an iterative process of increasing the level of detail as greater amount of information becomes available both the product containing unclear requirements and the plan having unclear estimates are progressively elaborated so in iterative life cycle as we saw we don't know the requirements with full detail so in other words unclear requirements so we progressively elaborate on those requirements not only that the plan having unclear estimates plan means to deliver the project that is the project management plan if you have that is also progressively elaborated and the product is developed over a series of iteration hence the name is iterative the detailed scope for the current iteration is only known at the beginning of the iteration you incorporate the feedback from previous iterations into the subsequent iterations this is very significant you know the scope of the current iteration in detail at the beginning of the iteration and as you deliver you complete one iteration you go to the next iteration by that time more clarity would have come in again for the next iteration the detailed scope for the next iteration will be known at the beginning of the next iteration our next life cycle is incremental life cycle in some projects there can be complexities with respect to technology or the platform being used now here the case is different from low agreement or lack of clarity on requirements earlier in incremental life cycle we went with iterative in iterative life cycle we went with iterations because we don't have clarity in requirements as i said some time before we don't know the requirements in detail that is why we progressively elaborate here it is not about lack of clarity or low agreement on requirements this is the case where the customer wants to have the deliverables quickly also many times it is not important how well refined your product is or how beautifully you are delivering the product with multiple refinements rather the focus is on speed of delivery 
In such cases, you can use incremental life cycle. Here, the delivery that you give to the customer can be immediately used and or the product increment is potentially sippable. So, simply speaking, you can say a iterative life cycle is about refined, continuous refinement of requirements and when you have low agreement with respect to the requirements. On the other hand, incremental life cycle is about speed of delivery, how fast you can deliver to the customer. You can also say iterative life cycle is about how beautifully or how correctly you are delivering the solution or simply the correctness of solution. Incremental life cycle on the other hand, the fastness of solution, how fast you are delivering the solution because you have to deliver quickly. The last life cycle that we have is adaptive life cycle. It is also known as the agile life cycle. So, agile and adaptive are interchangeably used. Now, agile life cycle or adaptive life cycle is both iterative and incremental. In short, I and I, which I call as adaptive, also I call it as the I and I life cycle. That is, the work item is refined at the end of every iteration. You are delivering a refined item at the end of every iteration and also delivered at the end of every iteration that is incremental. So, you are using both the correctness of solution and fast delivery. This is depicted in the below figure. So, we have a project which is divided into multiple iterations: iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3 up to iteration n we can go. In the first iteration you delivered one item or a, an, an increment. In the second iteration you have another delivery which is on top of this increment. So, this is an additional one that got added on top of it. So, you delivered on top of the previous increment and the third iteration you are again delivering refining the product further and you are also giving another increment which is on top of this increment. Similarly, iteration 4, iteration 5 till iteration n. So, you are refining in every iteration and you are also delivering incrementally at the end of every iteration and that is why it is iterative as well as incremental and the name is adaptive or agile life cycle.